Hold on. Okay, guys. Back at it again. Go on YouTube. All right. CNC Electronics. Back at it again. All right. This time we have a. What I should say now. <clears throat> I'm trying to find the perfect words to describe this amplifier. I swear to you, it's a scar, but it's a scar, it's a knockoff, it's a Chinese knockoff, as you know. Cheap like Chinese knockoff. Alright? And this is the 4500. <laughs> and this one is shorter than the, the one I'm used to. That's the funny thing about it, you know? You can see it says RP 4500.1D. And here it says 45 RMS, da 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 da, whatever, you know, scar. Well, this is, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm used to the other one that's really long, you know. This, yeah, this is of some length, yeah. But, this one is <laughs> set up like the other one, in some ways, you know. Torrid transformer, I think the other one. Of the same amount if I'm not wrong or maybe more because I have one but the other one I've dual poor input this one and we have single input poor input <clears throat> and that's time because the other one did have dual one on this side one on this side and it was a little bit wider and then one right here but this is 45 when the guy told me about it I thought it was the the one I'm used to but so this one is the so made in China, then the other one I work on, I think it used to say made in Korea, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, but this one is the Chinese board to what uh, to, to hit, so. Alright, so we'll see, it comes up in protection mode, you understand? And, uh, it's funny, because the guy for this, what you feel like, you know? Can you imagine you buy a new amplifier, you put it down at your house, family member take it up, use it, put it back down, didn't tell it broken until you're ready to use it. They say to you, oh, it's broken, it's in protection mode. I was playing it and it's in protection mode now, you know? Yeah, that's that was the case with this one, you know? Family member, you know, take it up because his brother wasn't using it and, <laughs> and this is what become of it, you know? And in protection mode. Alright, so I'm gonna. But I don't see any damage from up here, no swol swollen caps, nothing. I test some of the output MOSFET from, from where I can reach, and I didn't find nothing shot, you know. No power supply must be shot, you know, but you know. I definitely have to take it apart to see, you know. You never know. You could have a. A loose, you know, some part of this circuit could break or something like that. But we'll see what happens. We'll see. Let me just take this thing apart. And what I use is a Allen key. Before I used to use a pliers. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I still use it when some of them get really stolen. A bird beak pliers. You guys call it a needle nose, but you know. Where I'm from, we used to call it bird beak. Where I'm from, same thing, needle nose, you know. I really hate these, but boy, I tell you, what it's part of the work. This should make it fun. See what made this Ow. comes up in protection mode. Mm. Man. And could you believe it, guys? I, I, I one time I broke one out. I think he's doing the same thing. Yes, it, I guess that one was there, you know. The weak one from the factory. <coughs> what? Oh, wow, don't go all over the stuff with cheese. 
This thing. You see, when the pop them off, it comes up on like it was made for it. All right. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna take. All right. This is the. Let me show you the front. Yeah. And then I still have the power wire on it because I did hook it, hook it up earlier just to give it some a test. So what I'm gonna do the power supply section. These are the screw I'm gonna remove and to remove the screw for the right here with the input jack located on this one here for the bridge uh, if you wanna bridge it so uh, strap it I mean it's in bridge <laughs> I mean strap you remove these two so you don't have to remove the front piece for the of it and then you slide the circuit board out but this one is still really a big amplifier you know it's still take up all of the uh, table space I did have to make space for some so now I have a bunch of hand before I need to work on trees what time so guys so we have a lot of videos to see but oh man It's not that easy. As I told you guys from before, it's not easy. Maybe video. It's Saturday today. It's the only time I get to make video. My wife is off work, so and some Saturday I just can't. I have places to go with the kids and stuff like that. So I have to make video when I can. Honestly, guys, I make a lot of videos. I, no, not a lot of videos. I repeat a lot of amplifiers, but I don't make videos because it's the time. I didn't have the time to make the video. I have to do it real fast and just get it over with, and that's it. So, what I do, I pull these after. I have a chassis of them for the using this. What I get from Arbor Freight. Really cheap. I get it like this a pack of it for a dollar or something. Somewhere there. Uh, it's, I think I get this for a free gift, I think, when I buy a drill. I buy a drill, yeah. And I pack this as free gift. But in the store, I think it was like a dollar fifty or something. Not this point to. In like a dental tool. Uh, guys, I'll soon tell you what this use for power supply MOSFET in a bit. Okay. Okay, and there's a ground. Here, yeah, these are going to the chassis right here. Can you imagine? Sometimes they put it underneath the board, but this time they put it on top. So, I guess I get lucky. Me, you know, never. And it had also have some, which hmm, I really like that about the Chinese with this one. This, yeah, they have screw for the circuit board. It screws down to the to the chassis, which is good. I would like what four screws, yeah. One between this cap, one right up here beside these inductor coil and one with the drive behind the driver strip the driver I mean the driver chip right here in the preamp stage yeah, I'm just 
Can you imagine? This thing don't want to come apart, see? Hold on. Let's see what I left out. Still don't want to... What the heck is going on here now? Alright, I see. Oh my goodness. One more of this up top here, plus another ground strap what the come on man. come on come on what the sometimes you miss stuff so you guys have to be careful right now I bend this the leg of this I think these are some rectifier I mean regulator, voltage regulator. I said, ah, oh my god. Yikes. These are the big. Oh my goodness. Damn, man. Come on. These padding for the transistors are moving, which I didn't want them to move because they're full of, of that. See the blue eyes. So you know, this is what I didn't want to happen, but it's it's gonna happen. Might as well just hug it up. Get used to it. All right, now let's see. Power supply MOSFET is the 3205. IRF 3205 power supply MOSFET, and these are some FDP. I think if I'm not, F, no FDA 24. N40F that's FDA F as in fish D as in doctor A as in apple 24 N 40 F as in fish all right right now this amplifier is moving like a hold on, hold on. all right Let's first let's check all these MOSFETs. What the heck? That reading sh that shot you know, like oh my god. Come on, really? Nah right, I don't think this pretty good so I think let me see hold on one two three one two three four one two three four so from this side of your read okay this side read hmm all right yikes let's see here I think all right all right I'm getting hold on all right So this amplifier work like this. You have one, two, three, four. But I think work with what three of these um, rectifiers here. 
one two three four look at three and then it goes on for the other side same way just the same so this side of four right here is short enough it's reading like between the hold on let me see these are gate drain source between the drain and the source is short enough so and between drain and gate it's giving like 82 ohms so there's something is not right there definitely something is wrong so i'm gonna remove hold on before i do that let me check the other side over here it could be from the other side it's ah and so this side is doing the same thing and sometimes it's just one MOSFET but oh mother Everything is good for you, sir. Wow. What? Oh no, that's cap. Holy <sighs> mother of Mary. You really have some real poor sorrow in there, do Wow, my tail. These guys. Some real shabby side of the do right here. These caps, what I do. Huh? Don't, do that. Don't do what I'm doing, guys. See, I'm checking caps. Alright. Alright, we're good. That's good. That's good. Well, that's on the same rail. Same rail. Same rail. Alright. So let's see now. Um, is this right here? Uh, man, it's really hot, but yeah, this fan is doing no justice right now. All right. Oh yeah. Switching off. Alright, something is shot, you know. There's a way. There's a way to do this. Come on. I have to see which one is shot, you know, all the way. So let me see here. Alright. Reading that. This is leading to this. So, oh, 
That side is okay. Jeez, man, don't think we have to take all these out. Come on. Let me check something again, guys. I think it's this side is the problem because on this side I don't get that 82 ohms like that. Oh, come on. Alright, I'm gonna cheese. Okay, so let me do something like this. Let me remove <clears throat> on this side. Everything seems to be okay with this one. What I'm going to do is remove everyone. Remove all of these. Come on, come on, come on. I got this problem before in the amplifier. Hold on. It could be MOSFET, it could not, it could maybe not. It could be driver sometime, but let's see. This is the time when Todd would ask me, hey, where's the scope? I know Todd. Sorry, man. I'm not that using scope as yet. Um, you know? Soon take some lesson from you, don't worry. And if I get time, I'll let you know. But for now, I'm doing the old school way so a lot of guys can, you know, who can use the scope will still have a, you know, a way of figuring it out or a way, you know, of knowing what's wrong. Instead of them figuring it out by themselves, I help them, you know, I show them, you know, what if they have been a problem with, you know. It's not a lot of people would have the scope to use, you know. You know, Todd, you know, it goes Todd, but you know, I understand. It's all for the people who don't. One more. We really have to remove it. Yeah, let's remove it.
and sometimes it's the last one guys sometimes it's the very very last one you know jeez all right so this video is gonna be longer than i expected already already i'm at 30 minutes into this repair but it is what it is some videos are gonna take longer than some so this one it's really all right one was good oh sh smooth guys sorry about that i didn't have the my fluke for you guys to see you know uh, see if you guys yeah you guys just can see see if i get anything shot in out here oh, mother of mary yeah that's one right there gear drain source if i didn't read like that in the circuit board i wouldn't have to take this one out yeah, you see this piece of let me switch it on and see. Come on, switch on. Ah, switch on, switch off. All right. Good. Switch on, switch off. Perfect. And this is the culprit. I knew it was that side. All right, you was there. And this. Go to switch. Hold on, switch. Guys, let me switch on this chance stuff. Switch on. See that? Then switch off. Good. All right. And this side should be okay. Now, and don't give me no foolishness. All right, just like that. So it was one side of this. So with this now. Talking about that, do I have these in stock? Mm -mm. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna check if I have these in stock, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay. All right. So stay tuned for part two of this video coming up shortly. <laughs> 